Animals have some amazing ways to survive in the world, and one of the ways to do it is to work together. Two species help each other, and they're both better off for it. This is a type of symbiosis. It turns out that birds have these mutual relationships with all kinds of different animals. So let's take a look at some awesome bird symbiosis. Out in the Teru Desert of Kenya, birds called hornbills have a strategy to find food and keep safe. Enlist the help of mongooses. Hornbills and mongooses both eat bugs. So while one eats, the other one keeps an eye out for a shared enemy, raptors. Some raptors eat both hornbills and mongooses, so the mongoose will guard. If a raptor is spotted, the mongoose makes an alarm call and runs away, letting the hornbill know to do the same. The hornbill has one extra helpful trick. If it sees a raptor that eats mongooses, it will make an alarm call even if it's not a raptor that eats hornbills. The two species are so helped by this shared watch that both will delay foraging until the other one is present. I think that working together is the best way to live, and clearly these two species agree. Another mutual relationship is between birds and fruit trees. This sounds like an unlikely pair. I mean pear. But trees have a big problem. They can't spread their seeds easily. So lots of trees have a solution. Wrap the seed in something delicious, like a fruit, then let a bird eat it. The fruit is enticing enough to bring in a bird, who swallows some seeds as they eat. The seeds pass all the way through the bird unharmed and come out in their droppings. As the bird flies around, they scatter the seeds for fruit trees. So the birds are little forest engineers planting food trees. It's a win-win situation for both birds and trees. Some other seeds that are spread by birds are mistletoe and pine tree seeds. I'm sure glad that birds are out there helping fruit trees. It helps birds, trees, and us too. Next, we go back to Africa and see one of the most unique, helpful relationships in the bird world. Several tribes in Eastern Africa have formed relationships with birds called honey guides. These birds attract the attention of honey hunters and fly from one tree to another. As the hunters follow the honey guide, it takes them straight to a wild bee hive. The hunters collect honey from the hive and leave wax combs behind, which the honey guide can eat. This has been happening for thousands of years. With the help of honey guides, hunters are able to bring home lots of honey, a calorie-dense food that helps to supplement their own food. And that is thanks to this unique relationship between honey guides and humans. There are many other examples of birds helping other species, but these are some that you may have never heard of before. I think it's awesome that as you look closely at something in nature, you discover something new and interesting every time. If you would like to continue exploring natural wonders with me, please subscribe so you can know when future videos come out. Or you can watch another video before you go. Thanks for stopping by to learn what makes life awesome.